You guys ready for the big play? Mwah. Beautiful. Hello, good game. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. I hope you're all having a magical day. We'll be playing with Squirrel Tribal today with an historic play queue, just having some fun, a really nutty deck, uh, you know, passing the time while we wait for Innistrad in just a little bit, right? Around the corner, for me, it's less than 24 hours away as the time of filming this, and it will be even less by the time you're watching it. So, uh, you know, if you've not seen, we've made 20 new decks for the new standard, uh, and we are ready to, you know, just bust a nut all over the place, uh, <laughs> getting dirty with that content creation. So subscribe to the channel if you're not already, like the video, and maybe even become a Patreon. With that all out of the way, let's take a look at today's deck. Squirrel Tribal is a historic best of one, 2.2 average mana value deck with 20 non-creatures and 18 creatures, 22 lands, uh, you know, for that lighter curve. We make tokens, right? Uh, a lot of tokens and we capitalize off making those tokens. Tearfang, Squirrel General for three, a 3-3 three, three with Forest Walk. So if your opponent controls a forest, the general is unblockable, which is really, really good. We can also uh, pay one swamp sacrifice x squirrels and then target creature gets minus uh, or plus x minus x until the end of turn so we can buff our own squirrel or we can uh, you know shut down our opponents as well right so the potential for unblockable is good damage the potential to buff our attacker is really good as well and then you know the removal is the bee's knees quite literally um plus whenever you create a token you'll make that many tokens uh plus one uh if one or more tokens would be created under your control those tokens plus that many 1-1 one, one green squirrels are created instead. Yeah, so you'll actually get double tokens through the general. Uh, and I was I, I thought it was a little bit wacky. Uh, just making so many squirrel tokens. It's insane. So once we have the general in play, we want to use Chatterstorm as uh, the storm ability. So every instant and sorcery that we cast before this turn will uh, result in a copy of Chatterstorm which is really good, right? So this will, you know, copy itself multiple times. We have most notably the chatter of the squirrel for one flashback for two, three mana, plus the um, storm for five. And we're getting, you know, just a ton of tokens, which is really cool. We also have fateful push as a little bit of removal here. And while we're on the note of removal, also crippling fear, right? Single target plus the field wipe should be good enough choosing squirrels. Uh, so our creatures stay in play. And then, you know, Verdant Command can help the Storm. Heroic Intervention can potentially help the Storm. Uh, but then you'd just be giving your creatures indestructible at that point. You wouldn't, I don't think, need the Hexproof. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically going to be enough to make a ton of tokens. You capitalize off all of those tokens through Toski, getting a really good draw going on. And then you can have a very strong creature through the Squirrel Mob, a 2-2, two, two, plus one, plus one for each other Squirrel. So, you know, this is going to be buffed out right away and then you know another lord other squirrels get plus one plus one through the sovereign which is really cool the command makes two tapped squirrels and we gain three life most of the times the ravenous squirrel plus one plus one whenever we sacrifice a creature on it and then we can pay three to sacrifice a creature or artifact gain one life and draw a card so a nice little draw engine here for us which is really cool so we can sack for life and draw and we can also sack for removal uh, or buff which is pretty cool and um yeah that's that's it we have chitter spitter in here as well for three we can pay one tap it to create a token which is really cool we can also sacrifice at the beginning of our upkeep if we do put an acorn counter on it and then squirrels get plus one plus one for each acorn counter on it right uh which is pretty cool not something i really like to rely on i really would prefer those creatures but uh, at the end of the day this is very good value and it cannot be ignored so that's the entire deck right we've got some lands there's a lock Thwain, there's a layer of hydras here and some dual lands for consistency and uh you know strategy and synergy go super wide with squirrels you know start buffing them up with the squirrel sovereign with the chitter spitter and uh, you know then you'll have toski in play as well uh for that really nice draw and you're doubling all of your squirrels through the general um and then the chatter storm as well like if you have the general in play and then you do a massive storm cast on top of it 
wow, uh, that is going to be insane. Just an absolutely uh, magical deck to be playing while we wait for the new cards, just having some fun. And uh, it's great that uh, some of these less dominant archetypes found so much support in uh, the newest card releases, which is a lot of fun. So with that being said, we'll showcase today's gameplay footage. If you enjoyed the deck tech, make sure to like the video. It really helps. Subscribe to the channel for more cool content, right? We're going to have new decks twice a day when Innistrad releases. And then of course, you know, become a Patreon. You can find that link within the link tree. Shout out to all of our recent pat Patreons. You guys are amazing. Uh, really making things come full circle here recently. So enjoy the gameplay footage and we'll be back to wrap up with our final thoughts after that. Okay. Two lands, but our opponent goes first. Having the one swamp is really nice. And they don't even play a goblin, which is suspect. Who plays a red land and a goblin these days? Actually, I've not played Historic much. I'm not really sure what the meta's like. Historic is where I go just to make these nutty decks. Munitions Expert. Now, this is really good. Uh, dealing damage target creature or planeswalker equal to the number of goblins they control. I see. There's the goblin. We knew you'd be here somewhere. Um, and now it looks like probably the Verdant Command their end step and then chatterstorm with the ravenous squirrel on our next main phase yeah this is goblins as well war chief is great everybody gains haste we gain that life back which is nice We can storm this later, so we just go for it. No attacks. Well, we don't really want to block either, because those squirrels really help our mob. <laughs> Should be fine. I mean, goblins are a great deck. We're going to be... Uh, Trying really hard to make it through this. Oh no. No, 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 no. Four haste goblins coming out of left field. This is so bad. We have to kill this battle cry though, it's so good. It's so good. That Krenko's amazing too though, right? Just a casual uh, Crippling Fear off the top would be ideal. We can sneak the other Squirrel in there, which is nice. 4-4 four, four is a good blocker. But they're so wide, right? Great. That deals 4 damage to it for sure. Good game. Going first. I'm having the sudden thought, well, what if we play the Great Henge? The uh, one squirrel that gets plus X plus X equal to the number of squirrels we control um, would reduce the cost of it. And then it's like, squirrels would love to live in the Great Henge. It's a big old tree. So it fits with the theme. And uh, yeah. I think it would be a great idea. A lot of this is in tapped. We have two black sources, so this can be a green source. And then we're not getting held up with anything later. Um, yeah, looking for something, but even if we're playing tapped, you know, we have the one drop here as well, right? So let's get that locked waiting. There's a better chance that we get a forest or swamp next turn for this to be untapped. Sorcery in is what it is. Hit for one. Going wide into Toski. 
Hopefully we get a ooh sliver deck. That's not good. Let's push the boys up. And I think we just try to keep control. Okay, we get the damage in. Right, let's keep tempo in our favor. They're getting really lucky with those lands. Herald's Horn. So, cheaper to cast. Good for them. No attack. We still slam in, though. They take the buff away from us, but it's, you know, not the biggest deal. Let's just get that uh, sliver out of there as well. Ooh, double strike. And then they get another predatory. So it's, you know, something we don't want to allow them to stack. We'd have to get rid of a lot of... I don't want to lose those storms though, right? The storm is so good if we can get that fourth mana. I think we should kill this thing. I mean, giving everything double strike is crazy, right? But we'll do we'll do chump blockers though, right? Like we can uh, declare a blocker and then take it away. We could also kill this for two and then kill this for two, right? Instead of killing the one for three. Oh, but we can we only have the one mana, so we can't we we can only kill one right now. So let's chump block the bone scythe and kill the predatory. Nice. We just have to kill that right now. Still pretty screwed, but we get the Summoning Sickness back on the cleave. This is a ton of damage, though. 18 damage. Just taking 8. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -wee. Where's the land? You know what I mean? I mean, that's as good as it could get, though. A lot of tokens for us. Is it enough? I, I don't think so. <laughs> we need mana to use the general's ability to kill the bone scythe. Yikes. Yep, just losing three of them. It's not great. Where have you been? This is hard. Because I really want to double storm, but then we're in the same spot. I'm going to go for it.
Oh, and we should have used one of these. Shoot, we should have done this one first. My bad. We effed that up, but we're okay. As long as they don't get flying, as long as they don't get trample. I think we should have killed one of those things there. Wow, I can't believe they give it to us. We could take a massive draw. But if we get rid of that first strike, we're just like good to go, right? Now attacks and turn. We activate it on their turn, depending on what they play here, right? We want to hold it up. Uh, that's fine. Oh no, just a regular draw. That's that's fine, actually. <laughs> I thought they got a second, but it's not revealed, so that's their second draw. And it's just a land. It's okay. This is fine as well, right? They won't do it. So we're... Doing two damage to that. Sacking two squirrels. The ravenous squirrel goes up by two. And now we only have to sack two for this instead of... Uh, three or whatever, right? We still should probably play defensively, though. Beautiful. That's going to be helpful. Getting rid of this first strike will be nice as well. Why not? Why not? These squirrels are doing work. We beat a sliver deck with squirrels. I, I was worried. I was like, man, this is like a really good deck to go against. We're in trouble, but just so much removal. We can remove both of these as well. Uh, one, two, and then one, two. Yeah, we can remove their whole field there, uh, which is deadly, and then still have more squirrels to bring back in play. This thing would go to 11, and that would be lethal uh, for an attack as well, which is really cool. Just to break that down a little bit further. Woo! Woof. Opponent goes first. We have a field wipe. That's fun. Crippling fear. Start casting, getting those squirrels up and active, and hopefully they don't get like an Ajani to 10 before we get a crippling fear out, right? It's possible. Oh my god, it's cold in here. Urgh, man. Winter time. Oh, good god. Why do you even say it, HGG? Oh, it's like already at three. Next turn it's at four. Totally fair and playable card. I guess we'll need single target removal. <laughs> Is it that's something we run into a lot or what? I guess we could get bigger than it. Eventually. But in the meanwhile, you know, 10-10 a Johnny coming our way. Why? Why would you do this? Our opponent needs help. 
they have been injured and uh you know they, <laughs> they need some help you guys Yes, I know you gain a billion life. We're not getting double tokens, but they're just gaining life for each token. We, like, you know what I mean? There's no way we make it out of this. Let me the charge into darkness. Good game. Let's just call our call it quits here. <laughs> <laughs> Run away, little girl! Going first with that little bit of removal that should have been in our last hand. LOL. Could be a similar situation, it looks like. Squirrel in play. Daxos. Let's just take it. And then let's kill Daxos before something enters the battlefield even. And then this is in tap, so we're not paying life for it. And then we want to save Storm. Them gaining life. You know, it's not the end of the world. Probably just with a Toski, unless we pick up a two mana value instant or sorcery. Linden's real good. That is nice. Can't be blocked as long as they control forest, which they don't. Having the 4-4 four, four is nice. You know, it can potentially stop Linden. There it is, a little late. Oh, it's not a little late, it's right on time. You guys ready for the big play? Mwah. Beautiful. Right on time. For some reason, I was thinking the angel had four toughness. Oh, they're taking our Catterfang Squirrel General. But I love him so much. Let's take the draw. See what we get. We can't play the intervention yet. So just, you know, continue to play creatures. No field wipe. Book of Exalted Deeds. That's fine. That's totally fine. If only we had our Lord in. We get a nice hand here, right? Kidder Storm. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, that's fine. Uh, I meant to do this. Oops. That was supposed to be first. I did that last time, too. We're not holding up indestructible like a ding -a -ling. But I think we're fine. I keep uh, forgetting that I've got a cast before the storm. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it worked. Crippling Fear is probably going to win us uh, a lot of games, right? Going first! Nice! We're just going to pay two life. Um, I don't know if we need that as a second Black Source or not. Let's see what our opponent's playing.
In tapped, Ravenous out. Hit for one. You know, we have Storm, so we want to be playing an instant or sorcery underneath of it. Leaf can druid. Pass our turn, hold up the intervention. We could be in trouble. Elementals. Prison Reef is good. Land in play or a draw. The draw is good. Better than a land in play, I'll tell you what. They have to discard here by the looks of it. Nope. They're fine. Just a land in play. Try to trade with the Risen Reef. It won't go. We get a double draw. Not the worst, right? Toski's good little squirrel. Maya's jealous. She uh, doesn't like squirrels so much. She says, quit playing with them. Come play with me. They have four available mana. You know, potentially five here. And, you know, a, a Crippling Fear would be pretty cool again, I think. Yeah, Squirrels have nasty choppers. This guy's even got hooks. Right? Look at this guy. Kill the snake. Got him. Oh, Risen Reefs on top of each other is like... Ooh, woof. Very good. So, land in play. Card in hand. Trailblazer in play. That triggers both Risen Reefs. Land and play. Draw. We're in trouble. Let's just try to pile on. If they have a wipe, we might lose. But I just want to go for it. Trailblazer blocks it pretty easily. Or does it? We highlight a card in our hand to try to fake them out. Does not work. And do we die here? Is it a Chandra minus? Collected company. Just one trailblazer, but a double trigger off the reef, which is good enough in and itself. Look at the value these guys are pushing into play. Like, you know, they have seven land, we have five. They have a full hand, we don't. Oh. <gasps> okay. Four Reef Triggers here. Can we top deck a Crippling Fear, please? We need to kind of set this match straight. Crippling Fear right off the top. Come on. I believe. I believe. Come on. Not quite. I want to take it now before they get used from it. They're so far along their journey though, right? And watch us top deck a Crippling Fear anyways. 
Oh, brush fire is sick. We cannot block that. And the land triggers it. Brush fire elemental is such a sick add in the elementals deck. Holy. Rushfire Elemental and Risen Reef is disgusting. So we lose a squirrel. Well, I think we've lost this match in all honesty. It's just too much value. It's uh it's pretty nutty. More so than what we've got going on even. Oh why not? Why not? <laughs> God damn. Like, and they've not even attacked yet. That's lethal. <laughs> that is super duper lethal. Yeah, wow. You know, that's that's pretty ridiculous. Brushfire Elemental and Risen Reef. Holy. Wow. Last match, we go first. We have very nice layout of a hand here. You know, single target, uh, the field wiper, the sweeper, our, you know, lord and our token um, engine. Not too shabby. What are we playing against? Someone who's taking their time. I appreciate that. Okay, so this is the, uh, oh, Tameo, or what is, I think it's Tameo. And they've targeted our Chitterfang, which is annoying. So let's slay it. Squirrel in play, hit for two. Is it? It's not Tameo. It's a. Uh, um, why can't I think of it? It's like the white planeswalker with the defender situation. It'll show its face. I honestly forget. This is a nice card, though. Non creature spells are more expensive. First strike as well is pretty annoying. But we have a Crippling Fear next turn unless it gets countered. Yeah, and they're tapped. Why would they... Oh, they don't see our Crippling Fear. Still think we should definitely take it. We hit for eight. And we probably just suffer a field wipe. Maybe not. Mending Mage. So they're gonna choose our squirrel mob. And we can't even cast it now. Well, this is just as good. Let's swing in. If they double block it, we can kill the mage. This way is just 8 damage. If they have a field wipe, we can sack a squirrel for a draw. Or any interaction on one of our squirrels. 
Uh, whenever a creature is exiled from the battlefield, put a counter on it, and at the beginning of your end step, you may exile another target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. That's fine. And they're playing two of them. That's a cool card. We don't have anything else. Well, I guess they could select something new, like the Squirrel Sovereign or the Ravenous Squirrel, something that they know we have. Uh, Crippling Fear they could select again. Oh, because it has to remain in play. I don't think it needs to remain in play, so they could pick a new card name every time, I think. Land. I think we should go for it. Right? I mean, if we can take out everything, that's great. And we can low-key push up the squirrel if we need. Yeah, I'm just like fine with this, right? Yep. Oh, you jerk. We grab a counter, we get a draw. What else do they have going on? Let's not be too... Oh, you jerk. You jerk. So that's their whole turn. Lots of creatures. Good for them, right? Let's go all in. We have six mana. We could double sack if we need. Why not? Get that value from it. They have an empty hand, right? Take advantage of your value engines. Redain is gone. And we've got some nice storm activity for next turn. Oh, you jerk! Spellbinders clutch here. They take uh, Chatterstorm. Yeah. For four. We're still casting it, though. Three, four, five. We'd be nine total. Too expensive. Just, uh, we don't need much damage, so just going as wide as we can. They have to block this. Oh, really? I'll take the deputy. And the, uh, I guess it takes them both, right? Four and one. Or three and one for four. Good game, they don't get an answer. Squirrels, at least holding a 50% for us. Oh, we're playing like trash. As always, you guys know the deal. <laughs> um, having fun though, you know, just a, a new organic deck I threw together. 
fairly quickly and um yeah straight up squirrel power now let's break it down a little bit with our final thoughts oakley doakley squirrel tribal performing not too terribly uh i do think that potentially having the great henge in this deck would be amazing just for the theme like to have a massive tree that the squirrels get to run around in this theme's really really good to me um the tokens entering play i don't think trigger the henge which isn't good but it still would be a lot of fun for me personally just as a theme um, so I could go either way with it. Probably Toski is enough for the draw, and you know you've got life gain through the Ravenous Squirrel as well. So our bases are covered, but I just think it would be pretty cool theme-wise. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, become a Patreon today. Have a magical day. Uh, I think I might have already said that. <laughs> I hate repeating myself, but it is what it is. It is uh, the nature of the beast. I'm not editing this, man. And. Uh, you know, we'll see you guys soon in the next. Take care.